okay today we will see the comparison between the most common use edge build drives mostly with the Arduino or any other projects so the most common use here if we see is the L298N and TB6612B and DRV883 L298N is the old technology and TB6612 and DRV883 are the new technology so here we must know that some important features and we should know which one is um, better for our project so the most important thing we should know is the weight size this is the common and the technical specification if we go for we should know the maximum current and their voltage and which type of motor that we can connect with the edge bridge and uh, we the efficiency is most important we should know which one is the most efficient and which type of pin we should use with these uh, drives from the Arduino or any other MCU let's see one by one if we see this is the brand names they from the different companies the first thing if we see the weight L298N is 30 gram and uh, TB6612 is 1.5 and DRV883 is 1 gram so if you want to make like a quad capter uh, the plane are the, these are where here for such project the weight is very important so L298N weight is much higher than the TB there is a big difference but TB and DRV uh, there is not a big difference 1.5 and 1 gram. This is more suitable for especially for quad copter or plane so Next we see how much pin we need to use. Okay before pin I can tell you uh, Let me see here. This is the important thing these both These all have the two ash drives inside so each one can handle two DC motors or one stepper motor so for two DC motor we need six pin from the MCU for L298 and we need six pin for TB6612 and we need four pin for DRV and how many PWM pins we need these are the total pins for L298 we need two PWM if we want to control the speed but if we don't want to control the speed then we can use any GPIO so for TB also 2 PWM for DRV you also can use 2 or 4 it's depend upon you the total number of pins are here this, this means the including the PWM this total number so let's go to the next the maximum current is also important thing but most of the project of our linear project the motor current is in milliamps not in amps so TB L298 is 2 ampere TB is 1.2 and DRV is 1.5 ampere this is the constant current it's not the peak current peak current is higher than this so I think these all are suitable for small projects so if we go for the peak current, peak current for L298N is 3 ampere and for TB6612 is 3.2 ampere and for DRV is 2 ampere. Here the DRV current is uh, comparatively low but it's not a big deal if you know the good programming you can handle the peak current. At the end I will show you the code how to handle the peak current and we uh, how to move the motor in two direction and how to control the speed and everything okay let's go for the drive voltage for the L298 is 40 volt for TB is 15 and DRV is 11.8 but for small motor or small projects for Arduino the most of the motors are 3 volt 6 9 12 not more than this so if you have have the 12 volt or 15 volt then you can use TB okay the most important thing is the efficiency here if you see the efficiency 
like if you have any project using the battery so if the efficiency is low your battery can finish very quickly so l298 efficiency is uh, i can say is very low very because it's 40 to 70 percent so it's mean here your energy loss is from 30 to 60 percent is energy loss if you are using l298 but if you are using tb this is the best one from all these uh, so here the efficiency is 91 to 95 so energy loss is only 5 to 9 percent so for drv here you can see efficiency is 70 to 90 it's mean the energy loss is 10 to 30 percent so all of for the battery projects where you use the battery so the tb is the best one so if we go for the standby standby function is uh, the function sometimes if you have some other feature in your project and you don't want to use motor for some time you can put it uh, into the standby mode standby standby mode means the low power consumption mode so tb6612 you can put into the low power consumption and drv but l298n have no this option so this is the main here i explain you but uh, you can see for the more as i told you the pwm pin you must know which pin from the mcu is the pwm has the pwm features for example i will show you at the end uh, the motor control with uno so here i mentioned the uno pins d3 d5 d6 d9 d10 and d11 these all pins are the pwm other pins are not the pwm so you should know here i can show you where is the pwm pins you need to connect if you see the l298 here i have the little big image is more clear you can see here at the end enable b and enable a here you need to connect the pwm pin that pin must be the pwm from the mcu and other pins can be any gpio here for the tb66 i mentioned here the which pin is the pwm and the other two pins can be any gpio pins here is the motor out for the uh, if you see the drv for the drv uh, here is the in one into okay for the drv as i told you the four pins so you have to use at least two pwm or if you want to use all four pwm is also okay so and the drv exists in two packages this red one and black this their size is a little different the red one size is 2015 and the black one size is 1816 i think i forgot to tell you the size here is the size that is most important for all the projects l298 and is 20, 43 43 and 26 mm but tb12b is 2015 i haven't mentioned the height because the height is just maybe 2 mm or 2.5 mm is very small so for drv is also 2015 and 1816 it exists in two package so that is the main comparison let's go for the code and the simulation and then i will show you the real movement okay let me show you first the code here here i have the code as i told you you can control the surge current or the peak current if you do the good coding here for the, this code is for tb and l298 also the code is same for both this pin 3 i assign as pwm pin 2 and 4 are the simple gpio so here i also have the simulation you can see here is the pin number 3 is the pwm and uh, the pin number 9 is also pwm other two means are common here i connect two motors i will show you the simulation at the end let me explain you the code first so let's go here is the detail for the pin a here is the pin b i just want to show you the quick i don't want to hear from more details i set all the pin as output here i use the standby if you want to use this pin is okay if you don't want it's also okay so you 
just set the output because from the MCU these all pin are the output so here I make few functions the forward speed stop and back then speed and stop here you need to use one logic if your motor is moving in the forward direction so you don't give the next function to move it back first you need to stop and then move back if it's moving in one direction and you give the command to move in the back direction there might be a high surge current uh, that can damage your uh, HBRA drive but uh, the TB and uh, DRV and these HBRA drive also have internal protection it's they can't be damaged very easily but this is the one technique to keep the surge current low so here how to set the forward you can set the pin direction high and low and back is just you need to put opposite low and high so it will move in the back direction so here is the speed function in this code uh, what I will do the motor will move, start from the zero speed zero and then it will increase to the maximum then it will reduce the speed stop and move back so this is the Proteus uh, software simulation and this is the Arduino if you don't have the Proteus or Arduino on my mm, uh, channel you can find uh, there is the video how to install the Proteus Professional and the Arduino latest for free so let's go for the simulation here I have the code in this file let me show you how to upload this code to the simulation software you just need to go here the tools and sketch let me check uh, sketch folder okay you need to click on export compiled binary when you click here you will find the two files here it's taking just a few seconds to generate the binary file okay here is the dot hex file is generated so if in my case the hex file is generated in this folder if in your case it's not it's not generated in this folder the generation path will be given here you can find like here Arduino hardware tools and any here you can find okay I need to upload this file I go to the simulation here you just can let me show you more clear mm -hmm. okay just click on this is the Arduino UNO this is the TB6612F and here I connect to DC motors you just double click on this because you want to upload the code in UNO and then click on this folder here is the this is already gone to the same uh, for the TB6612 and this is the hex file you just need to click on this file and open and just click here on ok this is uploaded so how to run the simulation just click on the simulation and see the motor movement in one direction I'm sorry you can see they both are moving in one direction and then they will get the maximum speed and after that they will stop and move in the back direction after that I will show you the real movement with the TB 6612 NF motor drive okay they stop here and they are moving back you can see here the PWM pins are blinking the other pins are just stable in one direction the PWM pin are, pins are blinking because the PWM are used to control the speed so that's all about the simulation let's go to see the real movement with the TB of the motors Okay, thank you for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.